feel like I'm welcoming people into my office. Hey friends! Welcome to my jungle. I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. We're gonna have some fun today. As long as you promise me you do not get offended. Because it's 2019 and we all know everyone gets so offended about everything nowadays. It doesn't even matter what you do or say, someone's offended. I want you to take today's video with a grain of salt. These are just my unpopular opinions. Every single one of you is entitled to your own as well. The setup does not really have anything to do with the video except for the fact that these are my friends and I know that they will not judge me. So I hope that you will do the same. Also, this sweater is from Walmart. I'm like, how freaking cute. It's got a functioning zipper. Oh God, I have my hair in it. It's totally fleece line and like, a little tight waist kind of crop look. It's so cute. Without further ado, let's just jump right into my unpopular opinions. Raw tomatoes? <clears throat> no. I don't understand how anyone could eat a raw tomato on like a burger or a sandwich. It is so freaking nasty to me, that like gooey texture with the seeds. <sighs> I'm not even a picky eater, but tomatoes raw are one thing that I cannot and will not ever eat. And I'm not changing that. I feel like for this one, I'm gonna have like 50% of you that agree with me and the other 50% who are like, no girl, you're wrong. But candy and sweets are not the best. Have you ever heard of chips? I am not really into sweets. Give me a bowl of chips and I am like the happiest girl ever. Scented laundry detergent and like dishwashing liquid is fucking gross. Why do you want all of this perfume and synthetic chemicals to be all over your food and dishes that you're going to eat off of? Like, no thanks. Not to mention just perfume. Perfume in general, I don't really understand why people spend hundreds of dollars on synthetic chemicals in a bottle that make people sick. Sorry, just my opinion. I hate perfume because it makes me sneeze all day. I can taste it all day. It makes my throat thick. My eyes are watery. Like, it's honestly just the worst. I like things to be scent free. Shaving thighs is weird. You don't have to do it. Don't feel like you need to just shave your legs, your knees and your thighs and just keep on going. It's your choice. I do not like to shave my thighs because like the very few times I ever did it in my life, I just got like all broken out little pimples. And honestly, the pimples looked way worse than some really fine, soft white hair did. So I'm gonna keep my hairy thighs, always. The worst game show on cable television. Bing! What is Jeopardy? Jeopardy? I can't with Jeopardy. I don't like it. I don't like that you have to say what in front of everything. Why can't you just say it? Why do you have to say what in there? I'll never understand it. I don't like Jeopardy. This next unpopular opinion should be common sense for most of us, but unfortunately it is not common sense for everyone. And that is dressing seasonally appropriate. So for example, if it is winter time and you are trying to go clubbing with your friends and you want to look all cute, you want to get yourself a man's, you don't look cool when you have bare feet, bare arms, bare legs, no jacket. It's minus 20 out here. You got bare legs, bare arms, bare feet, no jacket. What are you doing? You're gonna catch hypothermia. And you know what? I shouldn't even say this is just for girls. Boys too. I see boys that don't wear clothes in the winter and I'm like, what is wrong with you? You're gonna freeze, it's cold. I don't think you look cool. I think you look like you don't understand what it's like outside. Like, no, it's winter. Put on a jacket. You will look so much cooler, I promise. And you will feel even warmer. Another one related to food, but condiments and sauces are the best part of any meal that lets you have a dip. Like if I am going to have, let's say cauliflower wings, or if I was eating chicken wings, chicken fingers, chips, literally anything that can come with dips or sauces, I need like a big selection. I'm not just talking like ketchup and sweet and sour sauce. 
I'm talking ketchup, sweet and sour sauce, honey mustard, Thai sauce, barbecue, hot sauce, just the whole nine yards. Give me all the sauces and I am good to go. A lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this one, but I hate when people are obsessed with watching sports on TV. Like, thank God that my husband is not a sports guy because I could not be married to a guy that was like, we gotta get home, the game's on, bye. No, <laughs> no freaking way. Stuffing or dressing is the best part of any turkey dinner. I don't care what y'all say, stuffing's the best part. Horror movies. Horror movies are the worst. Honestly, I don't understand why anyone puts them on and like enjoys them. Sometimes Devin will like put one on on Netflix if I'm not paying attention and we're trying to make a selection just to see how long it'll take me to notice. And I hate them every time. They're not enjoyable. I don't want to have nightmares for the next 12 years. I'm already like scarred for life from the horror movies I watched with all of my childhood best friends. I'm pretty sure I still don't sleep the same. I can't even close my eyes in the shower without thinking of like that figure on the ceiling or like a hand in the back of my head. Like horror things? No, no, no. I don't get why people are so obsessed with like these really fancy designer brand names and labels just so that people think they spend a lot of money on something like who fucking cares? I am so proud to tell the world that I got this sweater at Walmart for $14 or that I got a sweet coat at the thrift store for four bucks. Like I'm all about saving money, all about the deals and there is no shame in that game. Mm-hmm, sister. Bath bombs. I know that they're aesthetic and they're pretty and they smell nice, but here's the thing. When they go off in my bathtub and I'm trying to get all clean and now the whole thing is like, dyed blue, there's glitter floating around. I just gotta get out and get a shower now because I'm getting glitter up my hoo-ha. Nobody wants that. And if it's gonna stain your tub for two weeks, what's it doing to your skin? Mm -mm, mm -mm. The Kardashians are the worst. I'm not even getting into this one. I just can't. There's so many things I could say. It could be a video on its own. I am not into those fake girls. This opinion probably is pretty unpopular because it's kind of freaking weird, but every once in a while, when the mood hits you just right, it's okay to have just a little swig of pickle juice straight out of the jar. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it is so delicious. And I'm not talking like chugging it. I just mean like a little sip of it and then put it away and go about your day. It's so good. I love pickles. I love pickle juice. But it does give me heartburn, but I do it anyway. So, I mean, I love it that much. I feel like no one should even disagree with me on this one. You cannot watch Christmas movies out of season. Like, no, you can't. Christmas movies are for Christmas. It's in the name, it's self-explanatory. You can't go watching Christmas movies or Christmas episodes of TV shows in the friggin' summer. It's just sacrilegious. I will literally skip the Christmas episode of a series if it's not the right season. Oh my god, Karen, he's so cute. How old is he? Oh, thank you. He's 42 months. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm gonna have some angry moms coming at me for this one, but, and I mean, maybe when I'm a mother someday, I will contradict myself and do the same thing. But I mean, there comes a point where you have to stop telling people how old your child is in months. I need to do this math right now. 28 times 12. Next time someone asks me how old I am, just to make a point, I'm going to tell them I'm 336 months old. Like after a certain point, you gotta just start using years. Don't do it for too long. Another unpopular opinion related to food, but let me just tell you, oysters are the worst. I have never eaten an oyster, nor do I ever plan to, but I do not need to eat one to know that they taste like slimy, mucusy, disgusting, salty boogers. No, not interested in oysters. No, thank you. Get yourself out of here with the oysters. You can't really claim that you are super into health and being healthy. If you are someone who smokes a pack a day, Oh, excuse me. And does steroids, okay? 
Just because you go to the gym doesn't justify the fact that you're smoking a pack a day, doing cocaine on the weekends with your friends, and doing steroids, okay? You are just so contradicting yourself with all of those things. You are not into health. Unpopular opinion. But if you think the earth is flat or that global warming isn't real, we can't be friends. I'm not even trying to be mean. I just honestly cannot comprehend people who literally think that the earth is flat or that global warming doesn't exist. Like, what rock are you living under? How does that happen? Why? How? How? I don't know why tanning beds still exist in 2019. I feel like we all know how serious skin cancer is at this point and how dangerous tanning beds really are. And I can't even comprehend how they actually exist anymore and like who is really going to them. There are so many really fantastic fake tanners on the market today that will not give you cancer. So I mean, I feel like the choice is simple, but that's just my opinion. I wish that this wasn't an unpopular opinion but it is never okay to ride an elephant. I don't care what that man is telling you, if he's saying, oh no, they're taken great care of. If you are able to ride it for money, it is not an okay situation. And I know that people just don't know any better. And that's why this is something I wanted to talk about today because maybe one person will learn today. If you want to see an elephant during your travels, do your research, make sure you go to a registered sanctuary because in any situation where you can ride them, I promise you, it's not a good situation. That elephant was taken from its mom when it was a tiny baby and had its soul broken and that's just a whole other thing that we're not talking about in today's video, but just don't ride elephants, okay? Another food related opinion coming at you, but people who don't like onions are really missing out. Like, I feel like all the best foods and all the best recipes have onions in them. Not to mention, they give so much flavor to things. Like, if you don't like onions, what do you eat? If I don't even have onions in my cupboard, I'm like, well, can't cook shit for supper tonight. If you post on Instagram, delete, and then repost to try to get more likes the second time, I will not like your picture the second time. And even more importantly, why are you being so consumed with the likes and the numbers? Just do your damn thing. Be your own damn self. Stop worrying. I'm sure I'm gonna think of like 500 other things now that I just filmed this video, but if I do, maybe we will do an unpopular opinions number two. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you had a laugh. If you liked my video, give me a like down below, and I think you guys should comment and tell me one of your unpopular opinions. Let's get a whole thread of unpopular opinions going and just see how many we have in common. So if you see some ones that you're like, yeah, me too, give it a thumbs up and let's see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.